Do you wanna know the most visited page at Canberra Head Office? Do you think it's the policy page? No. Contact details? Nah. It's this one, the schedule of what's for lunch. It's the same for classrooms. Students feel more comfortable and focused when they understand the plan and expectation. But that's hard when most class schedules end up looking like this. Stick around and I'll show you how to make a schedule that they want to frame, not stuff down the bottom of their bags. Hi, I'm Charlotte from Canva Design School. Are you ready to design a class schedule that will help keep your students organised and keep them pumped up for the days and weeks ahead? I'm going to show you how to customise a range of templates and explore all the ways you can download, print and share them for others to use too. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated as we post new videos to our channel every week full of tips and tricks to master Canva. On the home page, I'll type class schedule in here. This will bring up a whole range of designs to choose from. Any with a crown symbol are for pro and Canva for team users. Or if you're using Canva for education, you have access to. Check out all the different types and layouts. Most of the schedules are weekly, but there are monthly ones as well. This would be great for a school student. And something like this would be suitable for community classes or sporting events. When it comes to choosing a template, go for a layout you like, rather than a colour scheme, as colours and graphics can be edited within seconds. Of course, it's possible to change the layout too, but it's a lot easier when bulk of the design has been done for you. That's the beauty of templates. Let's say I want to create a schedule for an elementary school class. I'll start with this template. First, I'll need to edit the table to reduce the number of rows. Let's say each day consists of six periods, so I only need six rows. I'll delete this section here, along with the text boxes and the coloured section at the top. Next, I'll raise the bottom of this border. Now I'll highlight everything in the table and recenter it. And I'll reposition the title too. I'll edit the text next, starting with the title and working my way down. I'll change these to days of the week and adjust the times to suit my schedule. Now that's done, I'll check out some different fonts. Choose something readable, but also exciting and full of character. Remember, fonts have personality, so choose one that fits with your class. To change everything at once, I'll change one text box. And then hit this button, and it will instantly change everything. I'll change the heading. I've already seen a font I like, so I'll go ahead and apply it. And for this background colour, I'll change it like this. Now I'll add a white box underneath the table to block out the background. I'll move on to decorative elements. I'll search for something appropriate here. Ah, yeah, this is nice. Just add this here. Resize it like this. To move it behind, I'll hit the position button and select this option. I think the students will love this. All right, now that's done, it's really easy to add in all the classes and their times and make a copy for the students to take home and put on their fridge. I'll add in a space up here for the student's name. And maybe a section down here for any extra notes they need to take. Brilliant, done. Ready to print. Just head up here to choose download. Select PDF print to get the best quality, but just be aware that file size will be larger too. All right, next, I wanna show you how to create a branded schedule for a school, university or community organization. 
and we'll turn it into a shareable template so everyone can edit and download their own copy. I'll use this template as a starting point as it's got all the basics. First, I'll delete all the things I don't need, like the background and the class times. Next, I'll add some branding. Let's say it's for a university. I'll upload the logo by heading over here. Once I've dropped in the file, I can add it like this. Next, I'll change the background colour to match the university's website. So it's the exact same, I'll grab the colour code and paste it in here. Now I'll add some shapes to make it more interesting. Okay, this looks good. Alright, before I share it as a template, I'll lock down the elements I don't want moved or deleted. This is really easy and well worth doing. The background logo and title are perfect examples. I'll select them all in one go, then hit the lock icon to keep them in position. Now it's ready to share. To create a template link, head over here and click this icon. Then copy the link to share in an email or an online portal for others to access. Now anyone can use the link to create their own personalised schedule. Once they're done, they can download it to their phone or print it off. Alright, we've ticked off two different class schedules, but they've both been for academic settings. So how about we finish off today's tutorial by creating a schedule for a different purpose, like a community centre or a gym. Before we jump back into Canva, I'd love to know what kind of schedule you plan on making, so let me know in the comments. Alright, let me show you the template I've selected. I've gone with a different layout this time, as there'll be less information to display. I'll start by changing the background. and I'll select fonts to match. Now I'll add in the scheduled activities. And find some suitable graphics to liven things up. It's really so quick when you start with the template. Instead of printing this schedule, I can send it out as a view only link. That way I can save on paper and printing costs and customers can refer to it whenever they like. To create the link, I'll go to share and click this icon. Now I can send this out via text message or share it on social media for everyone to see. It all seems so easy, doesn't it? But I swear, there's no catch. It really is that simple. And now it's your turn. On a scale from one to 10, how confident are you feeling? Let me know in the comments, along with any questions you might have. Oh, great, you're still here. Before you jet off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you could just chuck us a like while you're at it, that would make my day. You know what would make yours? More videos. So check these out when you've got the time in your schedule. Do you see what I did there?